Recently I blogged about a couple of uh, new projects, uh, one already on OpenNTF, one uh, coming soon to OpenNTF, um, for handling JSON and manipulating between Java objects and JSON. Um, so uh, I just wanted to do a video just to dive a bit deeper into um, that code. So here are uh, is a sample X page with um, the outputs um, for this um, and the first one here is using um, a project by um, Julian Robichaud called uh, Jason Bean X. Um, it's basically um, a low-level simple uh, implementation of um, manipulating uh, Java objects uh, into JSON and vice versa. Um, it's got uh, a, a nice bit of documentation on uh, on Julian's site, including a detailed Java doc on how to uh, implement it um, and how to uh, use it all. Um, and it goes into full de details on on all of the various classes, um, as well as some sample code. Um, so. The first thing that we need for that is to download the jar file and import it in uh, to the NSF. Um, now the benefit of this uh, over using um, some more heavy duty options is that it allows you to use the code directly within the NSF um, by just adding the jar file directly to the NSF and not coming across any, uh, coming falling foul of any um, policy issues. Um, typically uh, there are certain APIs um, and certain JAR files which require restricted access um, and there are two options um, for that. One is to open up access uh, either for the NSF um, or for the server um, for that JAR file by editing the java.policy or the java.pol file um, and that's often uh, um, deemed as a security uh, issue uh, for the server. The better practice way around it is to put it into a plugin um, and uh, deploy it in an update site database um, in order to uh, uh, be able to use the code directly in the NSF. Um, Julian's uh, created uh, his own implementation um, of manipulating Java objects uh, to JSON and vice versa. So we've got a simple um, X page um, and uh, we're calling a Java method here uh, called output JSON. Um, this uh, uses um, a Java class which just has a few uh, simple properties in it, a string, a date, a number um, and uh, a list of strings. Um, so the, f the first thing um, that the code needs to do, uh, which is here, is to create the bean. Um, so that just creates um, a simple object um, setting all, all of those properties um, and uh, returning that object. Uh, so I'm uh, setting the name, uh, creating a calendar to get a date of birth, um, setting that date of birth, uh, setting the age, creating an array list of characters, um, adding entries to that array list and passing that array list to uh, the characters property. Um, now, in in production, what you would do is is create those Java beans um, and and those Java objects uh, by um, looking at documents in the database, looking at view entries, extracting the properties, and creating um, a, a Java uh, object. Um, but here, because there's no document behind the scenes, I'm just uh, throwing up a test. Uh, Java class on the fly. 
the code itself to actually uh, convert that Java object to JSON is just a, a few lines of code. First, we're creating a JTB settings um, object to specify um, a specific date format for it to output. And then um, we're just calling uh, the JTB converter um, and calling the bean to JSON method and passing in the bean and that settings object that we've created. So very simple code. Um, and what we get uh, is is that Java object outputted as JSON. So you don't have to manually create uh, strings of JSON data. You don't have to um, use uh, the uh, Java dots uh, the uh, com.ibm.commons.util.io.json package to add properties in there and uh, manage the data conversions. Um, you can just create your Java object, um, th throw it to the method, and output JSON. And similarly, if you've got a JSON string, um, it may be from DAS, it may be from uh, uh, the connections uh, APIs, it may be from uh, some third party API, um, then you can take that Java, uh, that JSON data, um, push it back in the other way and get a Java object out the other end. Um, the second one um, does similar, uh, similar kind of functionality um, and uh, that's using a, a Java package called Jackson and this has been contributed by uh, Frank van der Linden. Um, Jackson is um, a standard um, uh, Java library for uh, manipulating um, JSON objects to, uh, to Java uh, um, and vice versa. Um, his link there isn't uh, working. Um, let me just find it. Here it is. Uh, um, it's it's a standard open source uh, library, um, and uh, it's it's typically used um, by most Java developers. Um, so Frank has wrapped that into a plugin um, and created a number of helper methods um, for uh, reading values from JSON uh, to a Java object, Pojo, plain old Java object. It's basically um, a, a Java object that's not a managed bean. Um, so it's, it's just it's effectively uh, similar to a bean, but it's it's something that uh, the runtime isn't automatically setting up for you. Um, and uh, similarly, the other way around, from a Java object to a JSON string to a JSON string with nice formatting uh, to a file writer, an output stream, a file. So there's a number of uh, options already there for it. Um, so that's um, that's available already on um, OpenNTF Stash um, uh, instance, um, just as as that plugin uh, project at the moment. Um, I'm sure before long Frank's going to be uh, contributing that as a full uh, OpenNTF project. But it's already working nicely. Um, so I downloaded it uh, into Eclipse, um, added a feature site, and in feature.xml, feature um, just uh, added um, that plugin, and then created an update site, the same as you would with the uh, um, extension library or XPages OpenLog Logger or OpenNTF Domino API, any of those kind of plugins. Um, you have the update site. Uh, which points to the feature and then when you click build all um, it pulls the feature jar and the plugin jar 
into um, that uh, update site database that's then exported out and imported into an update site database um, on the server um, in order to deploy it. Um, so uh, let's again look at the code for that. Um, so here again I'm creating that uh, dummy J uh, Java object. Um, this time we've got um, a uh, a single constructor which uh, for the Jackson wrapper which passes in um, a boolean um, and this is whether or not dates should be outputted as um, as timestamps um, so by default uh, Jackson will output um, a date as a number um, a number of milliseconds after a, a fixed point in time um, we don't want to do that uh, um, in this particular instance we want to have it as a a readable date format um, so here we've got uh, the year month day um, time uh, in 24 hour clock with milliseconds um, and uh, the time zone um, so that false parameter is uh, handling that particular output um, and then uh, again we've got a try catch block um, which is then just calling right with default pretty printer um, and passing in the Java object uh, which we've created up there and the output again as as we see is uh, similar to um, to uh, Julian's uh, output um, and uh, it's just outputting all the properties in that bean um, as uh, nicely formatted JSON um, and automatically handling all the uh, data conversions for you um, and similarly Jackson has uh, those same uh, same utility methods for reading a JSON stream and converting it to a Java object um, so there are just a couple of options um, for easily um, reading and writing to or from um, Java objects and, and JSON strings.